welcome back to another video Anna here and I'm excited to share with you some knowledge that I have about how to fix and update or find your CC if it's broken or if you just want to look at what someone used on their sim or in a build you can do this same technique for either way and I'm gonna show you how I use sims for a tray importer to do this. I know this isn't like a new program or anything. It's been around for years, but it's something that's super handy and maybe you forgot about how this worked or just recently had a CC that broke and you're looking for a way to fix that. This video will be for you so that this can be just something easy for you guys to learn from. So with that being said, you're gonna wanna download the Sims 4 Tray Importer, which is gonna be the software it's a free software created by someone in the sims community you just got to download it i will have the link in the description below make sure you, you grab that so that you can follow along while we do the rest of this tutorial okay so what you're gonna want to do is go into your create a sim for whatever object yeah. or thing you're looking for that's broken it'll look something like this I don't know what this is. Looks like it's a shirt or something. And I don't remember what it was. And if you put that on your sim, your sim will look like this and have no torso and look ridiculous. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna put that on your sim to narrow down that problem. If you have a hair or anything else that you know is also broken, I'm gonna throw this hair on them too, even though it's not gonna work because I think it's, yeah, it's just, it's just so broken. Like, <laughs> this is fine. We will call her Alana Broken because she is our broken sim. So then what you're going to want to do once you have found the CC that's broken, you're going to want to save it into your gallery. Don't upload it. You don't need to upload it. Just save it to your gallery and then you can exit your game. You don't have to save it. There's no need to because then we're going to open up the tray importer. Now that you've opened the tray importer, you're going to see your sim that is broken here. And what you're gonna wanna do, this will show you what packs was used. This is also a very handy tool just for many different things. Also, you're able to like export. So say you have like a build that you wanna export, you can like share your stuff outside of the library to like other websites and stuff. But we're not going over that in this video. That'd be a whole nother thing. If you go to the CC tab, you will see all the things that are broken. <laughs> they will be red. Red is bad. Okay, so you will see if they're red, then that is probably a problem, right? And so if you want to go and find this CC, right click and do show containing folder and it will show you what is broken. And this looks like a piece that was for a Lux outfit. And I think that is fully broken. So we're probably just going to delete it. I'm just going to delete that file completely. But basically, you're going to want to go to, you know, each folder. If you know that it's broken and you don't want it in your game anymore, just delete it. The other option you could do is right click and click find on Google. And this should open up a Google tab searching for that thing. And it may be sometimes harder to find, but it looks like right here, I did find the boots right away. And these are Caitlyn boots. So I would say just download it again if you want to still keep it and see if it works after reinstalling a new version. Sometimes the mods will get updated. Uh, usually CC doesn't get updated very often. So if it's broken, it may be broken forever. Warning you. <laughs> you might not be able to get this working again, unfortunately. But it's worth a shot. Uh, looks like a couple other problems. Face glitter thing. This one might be harder to find. Oh, nope. If you click it right here, there it is. Yeah, I have this face glitter. I thought that was working. So for anything that you know that is broken, just search it. On Google, try to find an updated version. If there's not an updated version to the version you have, then it's probably just broken and you're going to have to just delete it. Like I said, delete it from the mod folder forever. Another great way you can use this tray importer is to find CC on Sims you download, say from the gallery. You know they use some really cool makeup or a cool hairstyle that you don't have yet. You can easily do that here. And just like we did before, you just click on the item, if it's a house or if it's a sim, and then go over to a CC tab and then go here. And then you can find on Google just about anything you could want to find. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to find if the files aren't on the internet anymore or something. If it's something that someone had downloaded a long time ago, there's always that chance. But it's always good to look and see if you can find it. And then of course you can find it in your containing folder if you want to delete it or share it with anyone else. 
If someone's like, hey, where did you get that? You'd be like, hey, look, this is where I got it. And then you can send them the link super easy without being like, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long since I downloaded that. Could have been anywhere. Could have been on Tumblr. Could have been on Sims Resource. Could have been on like the other like million places that people post stuff. I think that's about it for this little tutorial. I want to be short and sweet and you should be able to load up your game after you've deleted and updated your mods and if you have any more issues just keep using tray importer to find the the right cc and get rid of it all so then it won't be broken and you'll be able to do everything you want to do and wear everything you want to wear if you have any questions about this uh let me know leave me a comment i'm here to help i guess i don't know i've been doing cc and sims since like sims 2 i think so it's kind of easy for me so it's kind of fun to be able to share some of the knowledge that i have with you guys if you have any other questions for like videos you like to see me cover uh, related to this or any kind of CC type modding videos, let me know as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.